All right. Fourth attempt. Brashov redemption vlog. We were here last year. That was our first attempt. And it was nine degrees in August. I think on that particular trip, we earned some bad karma. We got some bad feng shui because we made a vlog about how it was nine degrees in August. Uh -huh. And then this year we came back for some redemption. Three weeks ago was 48 hours of rain. Last week on our third trip here, I was sick, infected, antibiotics. Oh so God. I think we got some bad feng shui because we did complain about the weather in Brashov on our first trip. And maybe now we are paying the consequences. With that being said, we are determined to make a friend out of Brashov. Yeah, actually the sun is shining the right now. The sun is shining. I think it's the wow. first time this month. But the point is this, we're up in the mountains. We are now prepared for the weather mm -hmm. because last time we were here, it was August. I even got gloves. Orange gloves. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so last time we were here, we did not have the proper clothing. We did not expect a single digit high right, in right. the Northern Hemisphere in yeah. what is typically the hottest month of the year. But with that being said, let's take a look at beautiful oh Brashov gosh. here. Look at that. Beautiful it Brashov. It was great just before we got up here. And then once we turn on the camera, this Yo, we're up. about to have a good day in Brashov, and Whoa. I am determined. So we've got a lot of adventuring to do. You can see this massive cathedral here. We'll go down there and check it out. Obviously, incredibly f picturesque. Yeah. And there is naturally an old town we can go explore. Yes, an old town. So this is, we're actually at the White Tower, which is one of the watchtower during the medieval times. Ah. Yeah. Sort of overlooking the town and keeping everybody safe. Yeah. There is also a cable car going up towards the Brashov uh, Hollywood-esque sign. Although we've been standing here waiting for some sunshine to start the vlog and no cable cars have moved on that line. Yeah. So it could be off or it could be waiting for its first customer, some Canadian vloggers. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see, we'll Boomba. check it out. So join us today on our fourth attempt at making a uh, a successful adventure here in Brashov. Yeah, hopefully. This is the redemption vlog. I can feel it. I can feel it. So, <laughs> first things first, maybe we'll go to the old town. Yeah, let's go down there. Let's go down there and uh, capture Brashov in all its beauty. Woo! Boom. Okay, let's go. We've made it to the old town here in Brashov and we'll start this part of the vlog with a little bit of history because right behind me there is a really powerful monument to the revolution against communism in December 1989. So there's some gunshots in the building that have been left unrenovated and the story is in this very square there were Romanians protesting communism and the police or at the very least, the government in some capacity fell back to the government building just across the road and began shooting bullets into the crowd. So you can imagine being a Romanian and putting your life on the line to protest this government. It's very admirable. And on a smaller scale, I also really admire the simple and effectiveness of that monument because there's really no need for a huge $50,000 sculpture or some sort of interpretive art. It's just the gunshots and a little plaque, the bullet holes rather, and a little plaque. And I think it does a good job of not forgetting those who died and lost their life as well as sort of ensuring this thing doesn't happen moving forward and sort of protecting the future. So maybe not the happiest start to our old town Brashov exploration, but I really wanted to mention it because if I remember correctly on our last year's vlog, mm -hmm. when our lips were purple and we were complaining, <laughs> I still think we mentioned the monument. Yes, we did. Uh, yes. I, maybe I'm at the danger of repeating myself, but it's my favorite monument I've ever seen or any sort of war memorial because so simple, so effective and so direct and uh, yeah. sort of unforgettable can't help but imagine during that time you know like the people that is that were protesting against communism and it was just a sad moment but now but now good one Ivana but, but now, now the uh, old town is back and vibrant and I believe Rashov is one of the most visited 
cities in Romania. Sort of like an icon of Romania tourism. And if you guys have been following our channel at all, you'll know that Ivan and I love these old towns. Uh, here's a question. Pick your favorite old town in Romania. Old Almost impossible Romania. because every city has an old town, it seems. Yeah. And we've seen city. so many nice ones, you couldn't even do top five. I mean, look at this building. Yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All around. Pink. So, Sigishwara, Timishwara, Cebu, Pietra Nimt. We love all these old towns. Yes, we love it. Um, but Brasov is yet another one on the list. Yes. And right. what makes Brasov uh, special is not only the architecture in the old town, but also the hills around it. And the Rishov sign, yeah. it just really captures a vibe. It really feels like a beautiful yeah, place. It really yeah. captures this, a feeling of like, oh, this. what a nice place to be born and True. raised. Shout out to the Dodo Explorers, <laughs> our friends. Uh, at least Mike was born and raised I here. I wish you guys were here. Wow, super nice place. So just up here, we will uh, turn the corner and go to the main square where I believe we can check out the, let me say this right, Neolithic, that's wrong, Neo Gothic Black Cathedral. Wow. Neo Gothic style. All right, the famous and largest church in Romania. Is it the largest? Yes. Oh, cool. Well, check it okay, out. Okay, let's go check out the, uh, the church here. I should say cathedral. Let's go. Is it a dog or a horse? It's <laughs> a big dog. All right, so here we are in the main square of Brasov and places like this are the reason why Ivana and I love traveling through Romania so much. It seems like every city has an old, historic, incredibly photogenic or rather picturesque because it's not a person, but uh, oh, the birds are flying, but incredibly picturesque. Uh, old town and i'm not sure if you guys can see the brashov side at the top of the hill this is the cable car we'll try to go up shortly and what a nice place to be you can imagine having a cold beer or maybe on a day like today a very warming palenka Ooh. could be nice to get Sounds the heat nice. flowing through the toes yeah. and just beside the uh historic old square we have the black church now i am gonna ask the romanian subscribers for help based on two myths of the black church so they call it the black church because evidently sometime in the 1600s there was a fire that left it charred and black but there's also many reports online that this is just a myth and this never happened so if you're romanian and you know the truth as to why this church is called the black church please let me know it's obviously gray from the outside but there is this story floating around the interwebs of the charred burned black church that may or may not be true now the church itself was built in the 1300s and my understanding is it was built by the german community so it is one of the largest in romania as well as one of the main tourist attractions in brashov it is really formidable from the outside i think it's just undergone some renovation as early as like five or six years ago because it looks amazing from the outside and it really towers above you as very impressive and sort of iconic image of Brashov. Now, the other thing I need help with is if you look at this particular pillar, at the very top of it, there is what looks to be a person leaning over the ledge in stone. Last time we were here, I remember hearing the story as to why this was put there, but I've forgotten it. So if you're Romanian, or if you just know the story in general, let me know why there is this stone person leaning over the edge. If I remember correctly, they're like, um, the statue is like grabbing a baby. I think a baby fell off the roof in construction or something. Not exactly sure. What I can tell you is what I've learned is these tall and narrow windows that go all the way up to an arch at the top and the arch has a point in the top this is indicative of the gothic style so they call this neo-gothic and you can see how big it is i mean it really is a incredible monument here in 
Brashov. So with that, I think it's time we go up to the Brashov sign, up the cable car, and I'm thinking some palenka to warm the body. All right, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Green means go. Oh, check it out. Coca-Cola wagon. A Coca-Cola Express. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Going up there. <laughs> Coca-Cola vehicle was really moving. It goes fast, no? Yeah. <laughs> and the view naturally is really good. At first you've got a nice view of the black cathedral, the black church rather, and the old town. But as you get higher and higher, you get a nice view of the farms beyond yeah. the city and even all the way up to the horizon. Uh, really, really nice. Now we are being directed through this little hallway. We just walked through into this place where first thing first thing you see in true Romanian fashion is a place to buy booze. Good job, Romania. And then uh, evidently there should be a viewpoint over here. And we can go explore the uh, top of Brashov. Oh, no, it's so gray and a bit rainy. That's Brashov, sun and wind yeah. and rain all in the same day. I think, uh, I think with the mountains you get the unpredictable weather. But Ivana and I are not complaining about the weather. I <laughs> know. All right, let's go explore so the uh, let's go explore the top of Brashov here. <laughs> cool. This is this is a sign. It's got to be. We made it to the back of the sign. Is it right? Oh yeah, definitely. B R A. Okay, good. Unfortunately, it's really raining, which is a bit of a bummer. But this is life. Behind the Brashov sign. Hey, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes in Brashov. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, no pressure, no pressure. Brashov and I have patched it up. Brashov is no longer trying to sabotage me. <laughs> We're getting along. Just Brashov only fine. wants us to keep coming back. That's why. True, four times. Oh my gosh, spend more time here than Canada. <laughs> 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 Good, Ivana. Very, very nice. Bit of a bummer with the rain, the but this is life. You guys need a wall all around the old city. Yes. Agree. And that's the tower we were in, the Agree. white tower. Agree. Can. <sighs> yes, nice. All right, brush off. All right. There you have it. <laughs> Secret handshake. Secret handshake. Boomba. Not so secret anymore. True. <laughs> yeah. Got this. What do you think we got for lunch? Chicken fingers. Chicken. Is it is it fried chicken? Actually, it looks like calamari. Is it squid? It looks like squid, actually. Right? Yeah. It looks like calamari to me. What could it be? Look at this. What could it be? Hold on. We're in Romania. It must be pork related. Is it fried pork fat? Pork fat? Is it hmm. is it fish fingers? Fish fingers? Is Let it, me just transfer some to my plate. Is it... Ooh. What does it look like? Actually, I will say this. First things first. Shout out to the Dodo Explorers for showing us this local delicacy. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it's it looks like it's Popeye's chicken. Come on, what does it look like? It looks like it's... Oh, chicharrones. Usually, usually 
you cook this in soup. Oh, we have been to sort of maybe a few countries that cook this and they were all soup based dish. Oh, it's a good hint. It's a good hint. What could mm. it be? Believe it or not, it's not calamari. Wow. It's not calamari. But it does taste like it. Alright, mm. spill the beans, lady. What is it? Okay, this is actually. Actually. Beef tribe, cow stomach. Mm. Tribe, cow stomach. It looks like calamari, seriously. Very unique mm. preparation. Mm -hmm. uh, almost looks like fried chicken. It's very good. It's not chewy at all. Mm. Uh, would you like to partake in some of the sauce? What's the orange? Orange sauce? Like hot sauce. Or something. Oh, there really? Hot sauce. Oh, this is a big one. Look at this. Well, you look like you're enjoying it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Dare I say you are going to give this a five star rating? Question mark? Yeah, Question mark? very surprising. The first time I've had cow stomach tribe deep fried like this. Deep it looks fried like calamari. with hot sauce. Actually, it tastes a little bit like calamari too. Leave it to the Romanians to make tripe into a beer snack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fried and salty and spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, it's so the good. The texture is also like calamari because that little bit chewiness, rubberness kind of texture, you know? Actually, now that you mention it, it tastes like calamari. What? It does, right? Mm hmm. The texture is a little bit like calamari. It tastes, you're, I think it's almost like your mind is playing tricks on you. Your yeah. mind thinks it looks like calamari, so your taste buds go, yeah, I taste it too. <laughs> a little bit rubbery, but it's good. Wow. Rubbery in a good way. Good inventions. All right, no rock even. All right. Huh? Actually, can you can you just say five stars? Oh. oh boy. This dish is five stars. Okay. Because before I tried to lead you into it, but you didn't say it wasn't it wasn't clear. Ah, <laughs> uh, no rock. By the way, very good palenka at this restaurant. Mm. Good day in Russia. Finally. <laughs> mm. Finally. There you have it, guys. Mm. All right, Russia. We like you now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let me end the vlog by telling you a joke that my friend who lives in Brashov told me. A tourist came to Brashov and he asked a local, is it ever summer in this city? <laughs> and the local said, yes, we have summer, but if it rains on that day, we celebrate inside. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shout out to Brashov. Uh, yet another great Romanian city in terms of tourism. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed it. Boom. Later, guys.